let's uh, let's get into some all-star talk, man. The, the rosters official, the, the five on each side have officially come out. Uh, I believe the reserves come out later this week. Mm -hmm. Dame is getting a lot of talk as the biggest snub. Do you feel he was the biggest snub? And if so, who would you have taken out on that West roster? Well, there's only one person that you could have taken out real realistically because Dame's a guard. So he wasn't going to, you know what I'm saying? So you can't move LeBron, Jokic, or or Kawhi for him. So it really comes down to Steph and Luka. I mean, it, you see what Steph is doing this season. So you know there's not even a question that you could, an argument you could make to say he should replace Steph. So the, then it, come, it comes down to, to Luka, you know what I'm saying? So, but, I, I, you know, even, even with Luka, you know what I mean? I think it's, it's it, again, it's just another, you know, perception thing because if you feel like, you know, like you want, you want Luca in that spot, because if you're looking at his individual numbers, you know what I'm saying? Like his, his individual stats can go toe to toe with pretty much anybody in the league. If you want to go record wise, Dame has the better record, but Anytime we have these discussions about all-star snubs, specifically when it deals with the starting lineup, I always go back to the Yao Ming effect. That's the popular vote. If that's who the people, you know what I'm saying? Like the people vote for the starters. So yeah, like, bro, how many, how many years did we go? How many different times did we see Vince was out the first half of the season. AI was out the first half of the season, but they were voted as starters to the All-Star game. It happens. You know what I mean? What are, what are you going to do? He made the All-Star team. Obviously, he's going to be he's going to be a reserve on All-Star team. Did he deserve to start? Possibly, depends on how you look at it. But if we're if we're comparing numbers to, you know what I'm saying, Dame versus versus Luka, they, they, they're pretty close. I mean, Luca probably has them, you know, with the assists and the rebounds, but as far as scoring, and then if you want, like, again, if you want to tally in, you know, the record, you know, Dame has the advantage with the record-wise. Uh, the scoring is pretty pretty close, and then Luca has the advantage with the, with the assists and the rebounds. You know what I'm saying? So, honestly, either way, I'm okay with it. I like both of them. I think they're both great. I want to see both of them. We're going to see both of them in the game anyway. Uh, you know what I mean? So even when we say, when we talk about snubs, I'd be more concerned about who was snubbed from the reserves that actually deserved to make the team and didn't necessarily than the starters, because I do understand the Yao Ming effects. Absolutely. You're 1000% correct. And I was going to say the same thing. Uh, it's a toss up when you consider stats, I do like your point of view on Dame's team being, uh, I believe they're third or fourth in the West as of today. Okay. Um, so he has the advantage there and he's the same way Luca's had Przingis in and out of the lineup. CJ McCollum has been out for a few weeks now, mm -hmm. but ultimately he's going to make the game. And like you said, it's a popular vote and majority of the people who are voting for this are kids who want to see their favorite player on the court. So he'll be there. If he doesn't make the team, then it's a snub. But if he makes the team, it doesn't matter whether he starts or not. Yeah. Or if it's, if it, in Yao Ming's case, it's the 8 billion people. <laughs> oh, well, and, and that, yes. In, in the Yao Ming situation, that's, that's that one in a generation. <laughs> that's one in a generation factor right there. Um, but it speaking of the All-Star yeah. Games. Smush Parker here, pulling me up to Los Angeles like this. And you are now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk. Real 